Well, hello, hello, my beautiful wolf pack. Ow! Welcome, welcome. If you're new, please hit that subscribe, hit that bell button so you could get the notifications. Hit those likes, and I appreciate if you share. I thank the ones that have been sharing my videos. I appreciate y'all so much. The ones that have joined me from Queen Wolf Tarot, Queen Wolf Tarot on TikTok, I, I appreciate y'all. Um, if you haven't joined me yet, please join me on there. Okay. Um, we're gonna do today the. Remember, I asked, I told, I've, you guys saw my videos from before. Um, I've always mentioned that I was gonna do the four elements, so I've done the, these already for today. Was Happy Easter for everyone that's celebrating. Um, today we are doing the air signs. All right, Gemini, Libra, and, and Libra and Aquarius. Excuse me. I take one card for the air signs, and then I'll take individual cards for each, and then I clarify, and then we're gonna finish it off with the psychic cards. Okay, so let's clear the negative energy around this. One more. Nice, nice, nice. This is the black tourmaline crystal. Anyone dealing with mental, emotional, physical, or even spiritual pains. Let this bring you some healing. And I say pains because everything's painful, right? <laughs> so we're going to ask my beautiful guys to please bless and protect the space. I ask that you ensure only trustworthy answers come from the divine through these cards. I ask that you let me see hear, feel, and know the messages you have for my wolf pack. And I ask that this reading brings blessings to everyone involved. So it is. So be it. Alright. Let's see. Sorry for the earthquake. Let's see what message you have here for my beautiful air signs. What message you have here for my beautiful air signs. For my beautiful air signs. Gemini. Fellow Libras. Whoop whoop. Aquarius, let's see what message you have here for my beautiful air signs. Please and thank you. What message you have here for my beautiful air signs? Please and thank you. What message you have here for air signs? Okay, it's in reverse, so I'm gonna keep it that way. Okay, it's because this way is restrictions, you know, things that you're constantly looking back. Maybe you're not looking back anymore. Maybe you're healed or you're healing because look at the bottom energy that comes out. All right, taking care of yourself, you know, luxury, everything for yourself, like all around you, maybe money, making money. Because, and I say that because look what you left, right? A transitioning. You left that, right? You left the not, you know, the looking back, the, the, the wall that you built for, for yourself. Maybe you, the walls, it has come down or it's coming down little by little, right? Because look at this beautiful cup right here. Offers, right, that are coming towards you. Abundance that you're receiving now. Acceleration, right? Acceleration, moving, movement forward. A lot of offers coming for you guys. Okay, so this is the one that you have here. Which is, I believe, is taking your, the walls down. Little by little, okay? Now, let's see for Gemini. Why is the nine of swords here for Gemini in reverse? Ooh, ooh. Okay, everything that you have been dreaming about, manifesting Gemini, things that you probably left, that left you in the cold, right? Maybe that's why that, and this one came out with it. So look, maybe now you're getting, receiving new love. If it's something that you left or someone you left, look, heartbroken, the moon, that leap of faith, leaving someone, right? Or leaving something because yes, you constantly think about them. You constantly want to be with them, but you're on your way, I believe, to something new. Or it could mean the person that you on your mind is on your mind that you're going towards to give this love, this offer of love. Now it could be vice versa. So a person that's constantly that you on their mind all the time, and then you know they're offering you the love. But I believe it's you. I believe it's this wall now that you are have knocked down that you're going towards, and I believe it's new love. I don't think it's love from the past. Okay, if that resonates with you. If it is, then hey, that's your choice, right? All right, nine of wands. Ooh. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Hold on a second. Okay, see, it fell on the floor. So, for Libra. And then look at the judgment card. Yes, I said it. I said it. Look at these ups. This. This right here is for you being untied. To untie yourself. Because you're going towards happiness. And look, the choice is for you to be untied. You know, taking that wall down little by little. Uncover for happiness, right? 
rainbows and then judgment being made so maybe a judgment is going to be made maybe in a relationship for you or it could be whatever um choice or decision you're going to make something that you have to be strong about to put that judgment maybe is making putting an ending right and maybe that wall now is movement forward for you because you you've taken that wall down little by little right or you're taking it down libra whoa, whoa. okay here we go four. okay for aquarius please and don't do it why is the nine of wands here in reverse for aquarius okay king of cups maybe find now you're 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 okay you're transitioning now here from here to the you've had hit rock bottom i don't know if that if that means anything for you but you hit rock bottoms maybe it's transitioning now and yes it's emotional very emotional an emotional roller coaster for you aquarius but right now you're going towards being stable you want to be stable i don't know if you want to be stable in love or relationship but look the depressions that have you like that maybe look the depression again maybe it's telling you to sleep rest sleep think on it right Ooh. so let's see what other gemini why is what a last message you have for Gemini? What is that? Okay, um, page of swords. This way is unwanted message, right? This way is looking back again. Looking back is in reverse. The same way this one is reverse of not looking back anymore. Going towards something better, something new. Yes, it is depressing probably. It has you down. But look, your plans, everything that you're planning, <laughs> more of an ending, right? Hmm. For Libra, please. Okay, again, the you're going to be financially stable. That I could tell you. All your plans that you've been doing, again, the judgment you're going towards, you're going to be now a little. Now things are going to come in. This wall is not there anymore, Libra. Things are going to come in to a point that you're going to be either stable with you, within yourself, with yourself, or financially stable. Okay, look, <laughs> rebirth. Oof. Okay, a big boss position, Libra. All right, Aquarius. What message? What last message you have for Aquarius? Please and thank you. What last message? Okay, acceleration, movement forward, going forward. The same thing I said here, which is a roller coaster of emotions. Going, you know, a lot of things coming in and out, in and out. But look, a rebirth. So everything new, everything fresh. Not only you got the queen, but you got the king, right? Meaning that is a rebirth here. Look, balance. That's balancing it out. All your emotions, everything that you're going through, all these accelerations, all these emotions. Maybe you're going through something new now. <laughs> Endings, right? Something new. Okay? So, that is for my... Oh, the outcome. Sorry. For the air signs. What is the outcome for this reading? Ah, yes. It is. The Wheel of Fortune. And look, the death card again. I, I'm telling you, I don't make this up. So, the Wheel of Fortune. So, for whatever this is for you, a cycle either ending... Or cycle starting this is also a karma this is also fate so whatever you're going towards right now my beautiful Gemini Libra and Aquarius it is fate okay it is meant to be and it's also again um karmic so it's a karma card for whoever needs their karma in their life right <laughs> I'm just saying and then of course the death card going towards now luxury victory heartbreak no more right because things are gonna be clear now that leap of faith you are taking all right, here we go. We're gonna do the psychics for each of you, my beautiful air signs. Let me see. So now the cycle, I believe, is an ending of those things that I said. The judgment for you, Libra. Um, you going, you going towards someone new. You're not looking more towards the past. And then um, Aquarius also trying to be stable, trying to get away from this roller coaster of emotions. Um, all right, is a cycle is going to either again, again, I say end or begin for you. All right, here we go. And I ask that this reading was blessings to all of my air signs, so it is, so be it. Okay, for Gemini, please and thank you. One message. Oh, and look at that balance, the, the beautiful angel number. Okay, and there it is. Boom, <laughs> prosperity begins. Okay, so, so sorry. While I while I'm on here talking, I'm gonna put this down because just gonna keep giving me notifications, and I can't stand it. Sorry about that. Okay, so again, 
you're going to be in a balance so whatever you're going towards right now you're just having these blessings you're just having this all right beautiful cycle either beginning or ending for you and i believe it's a beginning for you gemini libra what message you have here for this reading for libra please and thank you one last message you have here for this reading for libra please and thank you oh transformation yes and look crown chakra so pay attention to that one you see the crown right there crown chakra okay the judgment again going forward movement transformation you, you're transforming every the situation or yourself okay aquarius one last message you have before Aquarius for this reading please and thank you oh awareness awareness again the number one and then you have here the heart chakra so again I, I said it right emotional things a lot of emotions going on right now use your head instead don't go with um these acceleration things with emotions maybe that's what it's telling you to use more like be aware of what your next move is going to be and um do it with, without emotions you know do it more a little bit yes of course it's got, uh, emotions are in in play but i'm saying do more like um do it more like with 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 your mind like thinking more stronger than than putting in your emotions i believe that's what that says okay all right so with that said if this resonates with you you take it with you you put it in your pocket if it doesn't you leave it behind for someone else to fill their pocket so take care now love and light oh bye bye